London is consistently voted one of the best cities in the world to visit. With its bustling nightlife, medieval architecture, and venues like the Royal Opera House, it's easy to see why this city sees nearly 20 million tourists annually. Lucky for these visitors, anyone looking for accommodation here is spoiled for choice. London's hotels are as diverse as its residents and cuisine. From historical to contemporary to what can only be described as super luxury. Not convinced? We'll take a look at our picks of the top seven hotels in London. The Claridges. We kick off our list with a five-star hotel in Mayfair, a neighborhood known for its exclusive hotels, gourmet restaurants, and designer fashion brands. Claridge's opened its doors in the early 1800s, a fact that the hotel's exteriors confirm. Walking into the lobby, you'll immediately notice the 1920s Art Deco interiors with a Victorian flourish. In this dramatic room, you are invited to indulge in some afternoon tea at the reading room or the foyer before making your way to your room. Even the most basic rooms at Claridge's are indulgent, with views of either the inner courtyard or Brook Street, marble bathrooms, and 370 to 550 square feet of space. The suite comes with their own butlers, terraces, fresh flowers, and champagne, while the penthouse comes with additional flourishes like a grand piano. As you would imagine, this comes at a price. The basic rooms start at $900 a night, with the price of the royal suite only available upon request. The hotel also has some of the best cuisine in the city. The lobby's foyer, meanwhile, serves British favorites like a chicken pie or a Cornish crab salad. Scrumptious, as the locals would say. One Aldwych. Over in Covent Garden, home to several West End theaters and the Royal Opera House, is the One Aldwych. The hotel's Art Nouveau aesthetic reflects in the 400 pieces of contemporary art and sculptures scattered across its interiors. And we aren't exaggerating. Each of the hotel's 101 private residences contains a piece of original art that could just as easily be hanging on a museum's walls. The rooms at the One Aldwych start from bedrooms, a series of 250 to 350 square feet rooms that offer comfort and convenience in equal measure. The hotel's four signature suites, meanwhile, including the Dome, a circular room with a panoramic view of the city, the Terrace, a two-bedroom residence with a view of London's rooftops, the Somerset, a large living space with a view of the Thames, and the Waterloo Bridge Suite, a charming 800-square-foot space with a separate bedroom and dressing room. The hotel's signature restaurant, Indigo, is perfect for anyone with intolerances. The food here, prepared by head chef Dominique Teague, is gluten and dairy-free, offering a unique take on classic British ingredients. For fun, you could also sample the hotel's Charlie and the Chocolate Factory tea menu. You can be sure that one Aldrich creates a world of pure imagination. Ventry and Mercer Inspired by London's historic trading guilds, this 91-room contemporary hotel near the bank of the River Thames is one of London's finest spots to spend a night or three. The hotel's interiors were designed to reflect the city's glory days of commerce and trade, with a touch of contemporary design. The rooms follow a similar style, with historic navigation maps and soft carpets supplemented by modern luxuries like Marshall speakers and an espresso machine. The hotel's standard rooms are between 150 and 200 square feet and come with soft double beds and heated bathroom floors. Meanwhile, the hotel's studio suite comes with a terrace, floor-to-ceiling windows, and a lounge. The hotel's Ventry Kitchen offers an all-day dining experience with an extensive wine list. The Mercer Roof Terrace, meanwhile, has a stunning view of London's skyline, including the dome of St. Paul's Cathedral and a selection of the finest British meals. The hotel is also home to D&D, a speakeasy-style bar with 1920s decor and signature cocktails. Don't worry about overeating, though. You could always work off your meal at the hotel's state-of-the-art fitness studio. Pan Pacific London In the heart of London's upscale shortage is a slice of Asian minimalism in the form of Pan Pacific London. A guaranteed five-star experience, the Pan Pacific has 52 suites, multiple restaurants, and a dedicated wellness floor. Even the hotel's most basic rooms come with floor-to-ceiling windows and bathrooms with heated floors. The Pan Pacific Suite, meanwhile, is a spacious residence with panoramic views of the city, 
The hotel also has a staggering nine options for food and drink, ranging from the Straits Kitchen, a Singaporean diner, to the Orchard Lounge, a great place to enjoy the traditional British customs of afternoon tea. Pan Pacific is guaranteed to satisfy the foodie in us all. Hotel Cafe Royal. Situated on the convergence of Mayfair and Soho, Hotel Cafe Royal has a 150-year legacy of being one of London's finest hotels. Over the years, it has hosted names like Oscar Wilde, Princess Diana, and David Bowie. The first thing you'll notice about this hotel is its ornate exterior. Renovated in 2018, the hotel's architects have retained its palatial decor while including several contemporary spaces, such as the Akasha Holistic Wellbeing Spa. With 159 bedrooms, including several luxurious suites and six historic suites, this hotel has a little something for everyone. The 3,000-square-foot penthouse suite, for example, has three bedrooms, a private terrace with views of Westminster and Big Ben, and, believe it or not, its own DJ booth. The Akasha Wellness Center, meanwhile, spans over 1,200 square feet and features a fitness studio, a yoga and Pilates studio, a large pool, and an organic bar. The hotel's dining options range from all-day informal dining at the tea room to champagne and cocktails at the grill room to French fine dining at the two Michelin star Alex Dilling. Head down to Cakes and Bubbles, a restaurant by the world's best pastry chef, Albert Adria, to wrap up a meal fit for royalty. Shangri-La. From buildings with historical significance to modern marvels, we go next to Shangri-La London, a hotel that occupies 18 floors of the tallest building in Western Europe, the Shard. As you'd expect, the Shangri-La offers staggering views of London, with floor-to-ceiling windows gracing every room. The hotel also has the city's tallest infinity pool, overlooking the Thames River below. Of its 202 luxury rooms and suites, the premier suite is the grandest, with a view of the counties of Kent, Surrey, and Sussex, a separate bedroom and living room, and even a pair of binoculars to better enjoy the London skyline. The Shangri-La is also home to the highest bar in London, Gong. From the building's 52nd floor, you can enjoy a pre-dinner cocktail with a spectacular sunset view. At the restaurant Ting, you can enjoy a three-course tasting menu, provided you make a reservation in advance, that is, or choose between several a la carte options that blend traditional British cuisines with a subtle Asian twist. With a modern fitness studio, a breathtaking pool, multiple dining options, and of course, that view, even the most seasoned travelers wouldn't want to miss a stay at the Shangri-La. Hotel 41. Hotel 41 is so grand that guests are greeted with a glass of champagne when they enter. Located on the Buckingham Palace Road, it brings you as close to the royal family as a commoner could get. Hotel 41's Grand Mahogany Lounge is designed to replicate one of the city's exclusive clubs, complete with a fireplace and wood-paneled walls. This feeling of exclusivity extends to the boutique hotel's 30 rooms. Each room has a unique shape and style, but they are similar in that they are incredibly spacious and have the same eye-catching black and white color scheme. The hotel's popular conservatory suite has a glass roof, allowing you to stargaze while you're in bed. Hotel 41 goes to great lengths to ensure guests are comfortable, placing hot water bottles under the blankets in winter, leaving gifts on the pillows, and lighting candles during the evening turndowns. In the afternoon and evening, guests can enjoy a wide selection of salads, soups, and sandwiches at the hotel's executive lounge. For dinner, a limited menu includes mouth-watering dishes like the South African lamb curry. Meanwhile, the hotel's pantry offers a selection of freshly baked breads, snacks, and cheese boards throughout the day. There's a reason why Hotel 41 is consistently voted one of the best places to stay in London, and only a tiny part of it is because of its rooms. <laughs>